um, today's video is not going to be a short. Uh, my last two videos is just going to be kind of like just an introspective going back um, thoughts of 2016 before it officially ends in a few days. Um, today's video is going to be about the many firsts I've done this year, some lessons I've learned, um, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the many first I did in 2016. Um, I actually, this October, marked my sixth year being natural. Um, I did, when I first started uh, my natural journey back in 2010, I did transition. And um, I got all the way down to waist length, but due to heat damage, I had to cut my hair. And this year, I decided not to transition, but to bite the bullet and I big chopped March of 2016. So that was a very big event in my life um, that I did not realize I had the courage to do and I went ahead and did it. So that was a first. I got married um, to my husband September of this year. I bought a house um, August of this, end of July, August of this year. Um, I got my guide dog um, this year as well. Um, I got, I saved my job this year. I got into um, vocational rehab because I am legally blind. I finished vocational rehab six months later um, this month. So I did a lot of first. Um, I was able to, um, with the help with my company, donate $10,000 to the blind school that gave me my guide dog, Roxy. And I was emotionally and on a personal note, I was just able to not give up and face my passion of especially when it came to my disability because my eyesight did get worse and just not take no for an answer and just follow my dream so 2016 really really amplified that um in regards to lessons i'm gonna change my arm um in regards to lessons i learned in 2016 i've learned patience um, I'm learning that um, I've been struggling with my weight um, I've been trying so hard to do a vegetarian diet and pescatarian diet and at my age when you're when you hit the 40 mark your metabolism is not what it used to be so I'm really struggling with my rate um, I haven't hit that from you guys um, every week I did a weigh-in and I'm sure you guys can see my weight fluctuating between 159 to all the way up to 166 as of recent and um, I've been trying the vegetarian lifestyle and it will go well for a moment and then I will not do well or I wouldn't follow the plan that I wanted to. So that's a struggle that I'm trying to resolve within myself. Um, in regards to my mental health, I decided to embark on therapy and address the things or my inner personal struggles and actually speak with someone to see if I can work them out instead of just trying to do it myself. Um, in regards to my disability with my sight, I have so many things planned that I want to do, and um, I will actually go over that in tomorrow's video. But I have so many things that I want to continue to do in 2017 as adventures and projects I want to do. But personally, I'm just I'm being extremely proactive. Um, I did vocational rehab. I'm going to be learning Braille. I've been struggling with Braille. I, I'm in the Haddon School for the Blind. It's an online um, school. And trying to learn Braille online is just really hard for me. I need that person-to-person, -person, person, teacher-student interaction, I feel, to actually succeed in doing that. So, um, and I know 2016 has been really, really hard for a lot of people. And... I, I embrace things that happen. I mean, so many things in regards to when I got married and being a wife instead of a girlfriend and that um, unique dynamic and 
pushing through with that because marriage is work and I'm learning that as well. Um, I have been married before and divorced, so obviously it didn't work out, but this time I'm really dedicated, but I'm finding myself that I have some habits that I need to work through, communication, understanding your partner, understanding that marriage is based more than just love is not enough. You have to work at it. And that's something that I'm learning and I am working through. So 2016, it may have been a very hard year for many, but uh, it's gonna be ending in two days, guys. I learned a lot. I did a lot at first. I, it was like mount volleys and, and mountain tops. So it was a roller coaster ride. I'm so excited for 2017. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Girl!